Design Extender gives you a handful of social media tools for your website. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook activity feed on your site, which is a great way to make your site more interactive. The activity feed displays stories when users interact with content on your site, such as clicking a Facebook like button or share button or comment button, custom Facebook actions like that. If the user's logged into Facebook, they'll be shown specific activity from their Facebook friends. So what you need to get started is make sure you've installed Design Extender and that you have a Dreamweaver site defined. So here's the page that I want to add the activity feed on. I'm going to place my cursor. I click Web Assist, Social Media, Insert Facebook Activity Feed, and the wizard is launched. You see that it picks up the domain for my site definition, so you want to check this here, make sure it's what you want. You can even change it if you need to. You can set the width and the height of the pod that is placed on your page that the activity feed will be in. If you choose header, then the pod will have a bar at the top that says recent activity. Facebook supports light and dark color schemes, though I'll show you how to hand edit the CSS later if you want to do something like that, but go ahead and pick one. You want to pick your font, pick your border color, and then you can select whether to include recommendations. When you do this, the feed will show users who are logged into Facebook, their friends activity in the top half and recommendations in the bottom half. If there's not much activity, the feed will just fill in more recommendations. Once you click OK, a placeholder is shown on the page in Dreamweaver. You need to preview the page in a browser to see live content as the actions shown are hosted by Facebook. You can see here that I have a list of content across my site that people are recommending. If I was logged into Facebook, um, above this list would be links that my friends had shared or hit like on, or more specific activity that was going on um, personal to me. Um, but since I'm not, it, it just shows the list that uh, everybody has recommended these, these links and the specific content. For those of you comfortable with editing code, let's take a look at the code design extender created. Here you can add a style tag and manipulate the CSS if you want. I'll go ahead and add a really thick border for the sake of this demo. So then we preview it in a browser and you can see the new border. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. You can also re-enter your activity settings by clicking on the placeholder and clicking the edit button in the property inspector. Let's change the width of the activity feed pod. We click OK and then we see the placeholder dimensions change. And then if you preview it in a browser, you can view the change there as well. So that's it for the demo today. I hope this was helpful and that you take just a couple minutes to go make your site more interactive. As always, visit us at www.webassist.com for more information or for technical support. Thank you.